Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Today, very nice. Thank you for asking. You always have a very nice attitude, Gilberto. Yes. <laughs> you are never stressed. Never stressed. And Good. relaxed. I would like to have your... your I would like to be like you, no stress at all. <laughs> <laughs> Israel, how about you? Are you relaxed as well? Well, not too much, but <laughs> <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> uh, not too much, but I'm I feel happy to be here with you. Oh, excellent. Great. Well, um, just to to share why I'm stressed today, it's because I I had my car at the at the repair shop, and I had to go pick it up. And then when I was coming home, there was a lot of traffic. I've been in traffic like for two hours. Um, I just came home like maybe twenty minutes to eight. Twenty minutes ago. So it's been, I mean, I was worried that I wouldn't be here on time because of the traffic, but here we are. So, well, today, um, several people in this class and are busy. Let me see. We have Rodrigo. Roberto will be a listener according to this message. Rodrigo is not attending. Let me see. Sofia will be a listener. So there will be a few people. Well, um, since we are still pending on some of the conversations we had last, last class, we're going to start with that, okay? So while your classmates join us, um, I think we were missing, well, you two were in the same group, right? Israel and Gilberto? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. Hello, Danny. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Danny? Uh, very good, teacher. Uh, I I going uh, to my house in this moment, and I I visit uh, my mother, and um, and. Um, to I a, a dinner with my family. Oh, okay. So, are you walking to your house right now? Mm, no, uh, I am going in in Santa in oh in Santa Ana. No. Yes. no. No, but my question is, are you at home now or are you are you walking home right now? Walking is walking. Walking, walking. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 teacher. Um I walk in the of the uh, the house in my house, uh the house my mother uh my house ah okay do you live to like close do you live close or near uh yes uh, near near okay. near um to to a strip ah that's good yes okay well and you, very good uh very well, good 
actually I was just telling your classmates that I was a little stressed because I I just came home like 20 minutes ago. I had to spend a lot of time in traffic and I was worried that I wouldn't make it to the class, but here we are. So now I'm okay. not <laughs> now, very good. <laughs> now it's I'm very good the traffic. Yes, especially because it's Friday and it's Black Friday. Black Friday <laughs> it's exactly. Because it's Black Friday. Many people are shopping these days. <laughs> so yes. But here we are. Okay. Um give me one second, please, because I need to do something very quickly. Just one second. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I had to get my dinner. <laughs> um, so, well, I am back and let's see, we don't have anybody new. Sofia is a listener. Rebecca, are you a listener today? Leticia is coming in. Hello, Leticia. Okay, well, in um, I was saying that we are going to start today's class with uh, the conversations that we had pending from yesterday, okay? So, uh, well, we have Gilberto and Israel, and I don't know who else was your, who was your, who is missing from your group, Gilberto? Who is missing? Your microphone. Uh, Israel y Julio. Ah, As... Julio nos hace falta entonces. Okay. Yes. Um, what about Leticia's group? I know you passed yesterday, right? With Rodrigo and I don't remember. Roberto Carlos. Roberto, okay, Roberto. Ahora los dos están, yeah. uno está ausente, el otro oyente. Yes, but you passed yesterday, so you are fine, you're done. Yes. Danny, who was in your group? Um, Gaby and Andres. Okay, okay. Well, let's give them a little bit more time. Eh, vamos a esperar a ver si Julio se nos une y los demás también para hacer estas conversaciones, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to pass attendance, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Danny Anthony, si buena aventura. Present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa María Ríos. Present teacher. Eh, José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Mm, I think he's driving. Let me see the message I got. Gabriela will be a listener. Okay, Andrés is not here yet, but he will join us soon. Um, let's see José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas, not here yet. Um, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura, she's graduating today, by the way. She said yesterday, she's graduating. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales, he has a party. <laughs> and he didn't invite us to the party. Um, let's see, Maria Leticia Ralejeño González. <clears throat> Present teacher. 
Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez, not here yet. Eh, let's see, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Here, teacher. Okay, are you a listener or participant? Uh, today I'm going to participate. Okay, great. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga is a listener today. Um, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga, not here yet. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. She's a listener, and Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño is a listener too. Okay, Andres, you're here. Hello. Yes, yes I, teacher. Hello, I teacher. had already called you your name, but you're here. Great. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Um, well, let's see. I, I don't want to like start a different topic and then come back. So let's just practice the conversations, the conversations as you had them, as you remember them. Uh, let's see who is um, Danny and Jose Andres. Were you from the same group? Ustedes estaban trabajando juntos. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. So, Yesterday we worked together. Okay, but Gabby is a listener today. I, I don't think she's going to participate. So we're going to start with Gilberto and Israel. Julio, I know Julio is missing, but we cannot like keep waiting. So just share a little bit of what you practice, okay? No tiene que ser tal cual lo hicieron ayer, lo practicaron ayer, sino que as you remember, okay? Okay. So um i think you shared a document mr gilberto do you want me to share it in the screen yes teacher okay give me a second ah but i i need to connect to whatsapp because i i don't okay give me one second please Okay, it's ready. Just let me share the screen. Okay, here we go. This is a document from Gilberto and Israel, right? Okay, I read it, Mr. Israel. Okay, good night, everyone. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, our group, we are going to discuss about the nutmeg, also known in Spanish like uh, nuez moscada. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, if every one of you have heard, have heard about nuez moscada or nutmeg. In my case, yes. What about you? Okay. Classmates? Yes, teacher, it's like a medicine, no plant. Yeah, uh huh. Well, you can eat it too. Okay, go ahead, Israel. Thank you. We are going to discuss the price of the nutmeg today, and we have two marketing experts here. We have one of them is Benito Santa Maria, and the other one is Julio Paz. So we are going to talk with one of my partner. He knows about everything about species and also about nutmeg is his specialty. Okay. 
It's your turn, Julio. Uh, no, yet, Julio. Well, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Gilberto, with your part. Don't worry. Okay. Certainly, mm -hmm. no make a versace, versace, a spice using a very culinary application. It is unique flavor and aroma make a so outer ingredient in both sweet and savory dish. The market demand for nomek have been on the rise due to its culinary appeal and potential health benefits. Okay. Scenarios deciding the price. Okay, this is Israel's part. I yes, think. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's your turn. Look. Just a minute, just a minute, please. I lost my my patience. But you can see it on my screen. I'm sharing the screen. Yeah, but it's too little from my from my cell phone. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I barely see it. <laughs> ah, thank you. It's better. Well, um, now let's let's dive into into our scenario. Imagine we are task, tasked with deciding the price of nutmeg. What factor should we consider, Mister? Could you say it, please? Okay, since we have it here, uh, Gilberto, you can read it from Julio's yeah. part. Mm -hmm. Okay, pricing is a critical aspect of marketing strategy. We need to consider factors such as production cost marking the main competition and perceived value. No make unique. No. Yes. Uh, no, make, uh, no make unique qualities may allow for a premium pricing strategy, but we must also the windfall of market sensitivity and affordability. Affordability. Yes, affordability. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have importance of pricing. And then the moderator said, that brings us to our main discussion point. Why is pricing so important? Could you share your thought on this, please? Pricing is crucial because it directly influences consumer behavior. It not only reflects the product value, but also affects the perception and quality. In the case of economic finding, the rights balance is essential to right to high price my better potential consumer. Why to look up why undervalue the products? Okay. Then can you can you read Julio's part, please, Gilberto? Additionally, pricing plays a role in the position in the products in the market. It is communication and message about the brands. Where is a position as a premium product, bogey friendly auction and something in between. Mm -hmm. Okay, moderator. you have your turn mr israel <laughs> israel hello Okay, teacher. In conclusion, thank you both for sharing your insight in the nomic pricing. As we go, as we move forward, it is clear that determining the price involves careful consideration of various factors to strike the right balance between profitability and market acceptance. Mm -hmm. The discussion is highlighted the importance of strategy 
approve the pricing in the company landscape. We look forward to applying this exits and we decide in the pricing strategy for Nomex. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's clap. Thank you, teacher. For the group, for the team. Okay, I I think this is a very well structured um discussion. So I would like to know if you get help from someone. Did you get help from someone else? Mm. 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 Go what? <laughs> Did you get help from someone else for creating this this uh discussion? Or do you do you to work on it? No, my my colleagues did it. Okay. Julio and 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 I Gilberto? And Gilberto. Okay, okay. Well, because I, I mean, it it includes a lot of vocabulary from our, uh, from what we have been checking, and also because it is well structured. That's why I was asking. Um, but I, what I recommend is that um, we practice having this type of conversation. Like probably the pronunciation is what we will need to uh improve but the way it has it has been structured is great okay so let's just um if we want to have this kind of conversation more spontaneously uh, i think by writing it is okay but it's also good to um like practice speaking speaking it more right so that it sounds more natural and more fluent that is my advice uh, you, but I, yeah, I congratulate your effort on including many of the words that we have been discussing in class. I think that is great because that's that's the point, right? That we um, that we have this kind of conversations, including the vocabulary we are studying. So great, great, great. Okay, um, now. I'm going to stop sharing the, this document and uh, let's listen to Danny and Jose Andres. Okay, what do you have? What could you share? Mm, hi, teacher. Um, uh, we talk about in the new product in the released in the new smartphone. In the uh, uh, the Andres, why is price in the price strategy the new smartphone? Good night, teacher, and good night, Plesma. We in our group is missing Gabriela, but we are going to try to do this conversation the most natural possible. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, yes, teacher, we don't write anything. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we make the, the ideas, but we don't write anything. So okay, okay. I'm going to ask the question from, from Danny. Okay, for me, this device has a cost of is the, the price. Is, it could be $1,000 because if you know this device is innovative because, for example, if you are in another country and you want to talk with your family or your friends, and this device or this cell phone can change the language when you, when you, for example, if someone in another country is speaking in English and you are speaking in Spanish, this device, this device, when you make a video call, change the language from the owner language. For example, so if you are Spanish, but the other people are speaking English, so you are going to listen in Spanish and the other people is going to listen in English. So that for me, the price is necessary to be the $1,000. Uh, 
And the one thousand dollar is the price is very right price for the new product. And when said in the price of the product in the price strategy is the very important the target market and in increase the sales in the target market objective. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so right now the moderator asked me from the camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. Danny, can you ask me the question from the camera? Um, uh, uh, what do you what do you think the camera the new smartphone well in my opinion i can i can say that it or that is not good not bad but in this case we know that the camera is not too important from this device because the the meaning or the, the main thing that we want to explain we want to that the other people can can look at in this device is the that is the there is the the way for you can talk with another people in the different countries uh, or if you have some friend that you can you can communicate with these people you can talk with this person so for me the camera is not bad but it's not excellent like the iphone or samsung Okay, it is a, a a value the smartphone. It is the the good camera. Yes. Yeah. Only teacher. Only that. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Let's give a clap to Andres and Danny. Okay. Well. Um, I, I saw you could, you included some words like value, pricing strategy, right? Uh, I know it is more difficult when we do it spontaneously, right? To remember all the, the words and the vocabulary. Uh, but, uh, I mean, both, both ways have benefits and like pros and cons, right? If we have the time to write something, we make sure to include as many uh, structures or vocabulary as possible. But also, um, if we practice speaking spontaneously uh, or naturally, that is uh, that gives us more real-life practice, right? So that's why I say that uh, there are pros and cons. Okay. Well, so this this is how we wrap up a uh, yesterday's practice, right? Related to pricing strategies. Um, today we have a, well, the topic that we have is related to well, if you if you remember, let me share the screen so I can show you. Um, okay. Um. Well, yesterday we didn't uh, work with the manual. If you noticed, we we were fo we focused only on the reading, the article, and then the the practice, the conversation practice. But uh, let me see. On Wednesday class, uh, we had this conversation. Remember, you practice this conversation, and also you created a new conversation, and there were these. A phrases that were highlighted. We have attractive enough, colorful enough, a fast enough. Okay, so today in our lesson, we are going to um, discuss how we use this enough. Okay, the word enough. So um, let's focus on our objective for this lesson. And a uh, oops. And uh, here we have 
how to use enough to modify adjectives. Okay, how to use enough to modify adjectives. Um, enough actually is a, okay, here we have the, the explanation. So let's listen to the instruction. I don't know if you can hear, but it has started to rain. So I hope that doesn't um, affect the audio. Maybe I'm gonna close the window, give me a second. Okay, so um, let's check the instructions. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Okay, um, let me see. Israel, can you help me read uh, this part, please? The explanation for why, how we use enough. Okay. Enough is an adverb means to the necessary degree. Enough follows the adjective it modifies. It can be used both in positive and negative sentences. Okay, very good. So let's start by checking this part. What is enough? It's an adverb, okay? It's an adverb. Adverbs are words that can modify um, adjectives, like in this case. Um, they can also modify verbs. For example, when you say, um, for example, when you say, I like you a lot, okay? That a lot is an adverb that is modifying the verb like, okay? And they can also modify another adverb. For example, when we say, um, let's see, um, okay, fast actually can be used as an as a as an adverb. Fast means that it the speed, right? It's a so when you say fast enough, then uh, it is modifying that adverb. Okay, so here we are just going to focus on adjectives, okay? Uh, how enough modifies adjectives and uh, what it means. Well, the meaning is to the necessary degree, okay? Just what you need, enough. Okay, just what you need, just what is necessary. Okay, so here we have some examples. Uh, let's see. Leticia, can you please read the examples? <clears throat> the look of your online course from face is not professional enough. Mm -hmm. The package is user friendly and no. Mm -hmm. The product design is not competitive and no for a uh, ink and market. Mm -hmm. or, or after sale service are good and no to improve the positioning of our product. Okay, thank you. Um, well, uh, as you know, as you can notice, as you may notice, um, well, here it says that they can it can be used in positive and negative sentences. For example, the first one is negative, right? So you say the look of your online course front page is not professional enough. Okay, it's not professional enough. So um, the not is, is before the expression of the adjective plus enough, right? It goes before. 
Then we have the package is user-friendly enough. In this case, we have a positive sentence, right? Uh, let's look at the other example. Their product design is not competitive enough. Okay, so we have another example for negative, right? It's not. And as you see, the structure is the same as in the first one. The, the expression not goes before the, the phrase, right? Before the, the adjective plus enough. So the product design is not competitive enough for a high-end market, high-end market. Okay, let's let's pause here for a little bit and let's check if we understand this phrase, high-end. Does anybody know what high-end means? High-end. No? No one? Okay. Maybe final? Repeat, Rebecca, please. I just can think maybe in final, like a final client. Ah, um, no, not in this case, Rebecca. It would. Like it from the device, like the cell phones. Uh huh. Andres? It's like from, we talk about from some one device or one cell phone. Uh, no. It high end? Yes, no. Uh, you can say, yes. I mean, high end can be used for different, different products, okay? For example, I will say that the, the iPhone, um, what is the latest model? I don't remember. It's 15, right? Yeah, it's in the 15. Uh huh. So, iPhone 15 is a, a product for the high end market. Um, what does that mean? It means that it is um, addressed to a target market or to an audience who can pay for it, okay? Because it's very expensive. So the high-end market is the, let's say the population or the audience who can afford, this is another word that um, I don't remember if we have checked it here, afford. Afford means Okay, give me one second. Afford means to be able to pay something. Okay, like if the iPhone 15 is, I don't know, $2,000, not everybody can afford it, right? Probably you can, I mean, in my case, for example, if I want to have the iPhone 15, maybe I could get it with my credit card. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't want to get in debt for an iPhone. That is not my case. But some people like to have these kind of expensive devices, right? And if they cannot pay it upfront, they use their credit cards. Um, but basically high-end is for people, like when we say the high-end market is the, you know, rich people prices, basically, right? Rich people or wealthy people prices, okay? Like, you know, these famous um, brands in fashion, like um, Chanel, like the like the Hermes bags, the how do you call the Balenciaga and so that is those are examples of high end 
brands. Okay, so I don't know if those examples are clear for understanding the word. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, and then here we the last example is also affirmative or positive. Good. Okay, our after sales services are good enough to provide the positioning of our products. Okay, so so what is the structure? Let's focus on the structure of these examples. Okay, so I'm going to use here the annotation and we're going to okay break it down so we start with the subject as usual okay then in this case the subject let's look for um okay this this one the subject is the package right the package then what is after after the subject the word to be Yes, verb B. Mm -hmm. And after that, we have, in this case, we are focusing on adjectives, right? So we have an adjective. Okay, and after that, we have the, the adverb enough, enough. Okay, so that's the structure, okay? So we have, we start with a subject, then we add verb B, then the, the adjective that we want to use, plus enough. And we are expressing in this case that, for example, in the first case, it says the look of your online page front, sorry, online course front page is not professional enough. So because it's negative, I'm saying that, okay, because it's negative, when I say that it is not professional enough, in other words, I'm saying that it needs to be more professional, right? Because it is not professional enough. So it needs to be more professional. In the second example, when, we, when I say, the package is user-friendly enough, this means that it doesn't need to be more user-friendly, right? It is the necessary degree of user-friendly, okay? It doesn't need to be more user-friendly. And let's see the next one. The product design is not competitive enough. Here, because it is negative, uh, I can say, yes, it needs to be more competitive, right? Because it is right now, it is not competitive enough. And the last one, our, good, our after sales services are good enough to improve the positioning of our products. In this case, uh, it means that they don't need to be better, right? They are good enough. So they are the necessary degree of good, right? They don't need to be better. So I don't know if, if we have it clear, like the meaning of enough with an adjective. Yes, teacher. Yes. It's clear. Excellent. Okay, and now, Okay, now let's um, check this other activity here. Number five, we're going to practice using uh, the adjective, the expression, the adjective plus enough, okay? So we're going to describe the mobile brands below using an adjective plus enough. So here you can use your creativity, your imagination and uh, like, your opinion, basically, right? In your personal opinion, how do you describe LG? Or how do you describe Sony Xperia? This is a, this was a cell phone uh, model, right? Sony Xperia. Uh, the iPhone, the Samsung, 
all of them are cell phone models, right? LG, Sony Xperia, iPhone, and Samsung. So um, please try to write one example for each, okay? Let's try to write one example for LG, another example for Xperia, another for iPhone, and another for Samsung. So in total, we're going to have four examples using the, the expression like this, right? We have the subject, the verb be, plus adjective, plus enough. Okay, so um, this is going to be individual. So I'm going to give you a few minutes, probably five minutes, and then we're going to share, okay? So give me one second here. Okay, here is my timer. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. If you have any question, if you need my help, please let me know, okay? But let's focus on this practice individually. Um, I'm going to send you um, a screenshot. Okay, there you go. Is everybody clear on the task? Yes, no, maybe, probably. ¿Estamos claros con la indicación? Yes, teacher. Ok. Thank you, Peter.
Okay, our time is over. Do you need more time? Or are you ready? Are you ready? Just a, just a question, just a question, please. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Um, okay, we are we are studying the this advert enough, but mm -hmm. it's not the same enough. Yes, it's the same word, enough. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I was I, I was looking on uh, the Google dictionary and I was trying to get more information and try to get or understand the hundred percent the 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 meaning. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was different at the beginning, but no, uh, just, no. it's the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, well, if you are ready, we can start sharing uh, your, your examples. You can type them in the chat and also uh, through the microphone, but especially I would like to see how you have uh, written them, okay? How you have structured your sentence. So we can start sharing. Teacher. Yes. What is Andres? the other what is the other brand? I I'm sorry, I, I just cry from LG, Sony, and Samsung, and the other. Ah, iPhone. iPhone, okay, yeah, teacher. Okay, just that. Mm -hmm. Sony Xperia, iPhone, and Samsung. Remember, these are all cell phone models, right? So if you know them, um Probably you have had some of these models, like in my case, for example, I I had an LG uh, iPhone, well, iPhone 4, <laughs> like, let me see, 10 years ago. Uh, Samsung, yes. After after my iPhone, all my, all my cell phones are, have been Samsung. I love Samsung. Yes, teacher. You love Samsung? It, 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 it's a very good brand. Uh, mm -hmm. and it's very good, the screen, the quality screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like right now about my cell phone, but this is this has to do with the, with the model because it's not... Well, I would like to have the S... Samsung Galaxy S, I don't know how, how many S we have now, 20, 21, something like that, right? I remember I had the Samsung Galaxy S 5 or 6, and it was really, really nice. That was the newest at that point, but now we have like Galaxy S 21 or something like that. So they are really, really nice. Mine is not yeah. that. But it's still good. <laughs> it's sharing my opinion. I don't recommend the Samsung. Why? <laughs> Why? Because teacher, I love the video games and I have a bad experience when I want to play a video game. Uh, it's very slow from the battle of the, the different video games. Ah, for me, that is my experience. Yeah, because I love the video, the online video games. So for me, it's very slow. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Because you have a, a very specific um use for it, right? Like it's the like the computers too. Uh, I know that, for example, computers for gamers need to have more um RAM memory 
they need to be they need to have a very good um how they call it like the um i have forgot me like the engine or something like that i don't remember <laughs> yeah they have to be really I think is it raining, Danny, in your house? In your neighborhood? Yes, it's, uh, it is very, it's, uh, light, very strong. Okay. Okay, we have some examples here in the chat from Alberto. The brand LG. Okay, let me turn off. Okay, uh, let's see. We have from Gilberto, the brand LG is not expensive enough. Okay. Um, now, we need to be careful in this case with some adjectives because, for example, when we say expensive enough, it sounds, Gilberto, like you want the LG to be more expensive, okay? Okay, okay. So in some cases, yeah, because of the meaning of the adjective, uh, they may not sound um, logical or coherent, okay? Probably okay. we can. Uh, yes, Danny? And uh, the special enough to use the Can you repeat, please? The special enough. Special. My special. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, special enough can apply. Mm -hmm. Um, probably here uh, in Gilberto's example, the first one here, the brand LG is not expensive enough. We can, if we add something else, maybe it's, it's, maybe it, it's more coherent. Like yeah. for example, for yeah. example if, we say, if we say the brand yeah. LG is not expensive enough um, compared to all the features it has, for example, all the special features it has. O sea, ahí estamos diciendo que para lo, todo lo que tiene, todos los features que tiene, no es caro, ¿verdad? Entonces, si le agregamos algo más a esa oración, sí tendría más sentido. Decir que no está cara para todo lo que ofrece. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see Israel's example. Sony's company had enough with its cellular division. Okay, here Israel, the idea is that we use it with an adjective. So um, we can say, for example, Sony, Sony's company um, was complete enough with its cellular division to keep the same idea in your sentence, we could use the word complete. Was complete enough with its cellular division. Okay, Gilberto, second example, the Sony Xperia is competitive enough. Aha, uh -huh. very good, with the other brands. In this case, Gilberto, let's just add the D after N, brands. Brands. Ajá. Después de la N, va una D. Brand. Oh, okay. Brand. Mm -hmm. yes. um, Thank you. Okay. Rebecca, LG is cheaper enough mobile brand. Um, okay. In this case... Uh, Rebecca, we could. Okay, I I get I guess you are trying to use cheap 
right? It's cheap enough. Um, so let me let me uh write here. Is a okay, is a mobile brand. Brand that is cheap enough. I see LG LG is a mobile brand, mobile brand that is cheap enough, and we can add something else like for everybody to afford. ¿Se acuerdan de afford? Que se los puse ahí, significa tener el, básicamente en un vocabulario técnico en español sería tener el poder adquisitivo ¿verdad? Para comprar algo. So, this is how we would put it. LG is a mobile brand that is cheap enough for everybody to afford Okay, then we have a Sony Xperia phones are not competitive enough. Very good. Does it exist, Sony Xperia, now? Do you know? Or it disappeared from the market? I, have... I didn't watch recently. Okay. Uh-huh, me neither. Okay, let's see. iPhones, cell phones are forefront enough. Mm, what do you mean by forefront? Um, I I I searched on internet mm -hmm. the traduction of vanguardia. <laughs> Vanguardista. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. I think in this case in terms of technology, we can use a different word. In this case, we could say, for example, iPhone cell phones are a, what we use, top notch, for example, top notch. Top notch. Or also a state of the art. State of the art. Let's see. I can say, for example, iPhone 15 is a state-of-the-art cell phone. Or if we want to use it with enough, we can say iPhone 15 is state-of-the-art enough for a... Um, for rich people, for example, or for wealthy people. So we can use those two, top-notch or state-of-the-art. Forefront is more like when you say, for example, we could, we could say iPhone is at the forefront of technology. iPhone 15 is at the forefront of technology. Se usa más así de esa manera, como at the forefront, okay, a la vanguardia. Y si se traduce literal como a la vanguardia, es at the forefront. Pero para hacerlo como adjetivo, eh, utilizamos más estas dos frases. Is a top-notch cell phone or is a state-of-the-art cell phone. Okay, what else? We have Samsung is durable enough. Mm -hmm. Ok, we can say Samsung, aquí estamos usando bien el durable enough, solo cambiaríamos esta última parte. Samsung is a durable enough device brand, creo que eso quiso decir, device. Device. Yes, teacher, advice okay. is consejo, ¿verdad? Yes, ajá, se parece, <ríe> se parece, device brand. Okay, let's see, we have here Andres examples. 
LG products are designed to provide enough features and technology. Okay, uh, in this case, Andres, you are using the word enough correctly, but it's a, the context, the grammar context is a little bit different, okay? Uh, because here we are using um, enough with a noun, okay? Que también es otra manera de utilizarlo. Um, con, pero si se fijan aquí, el enough va antes y, el, y luego seguimos con el noun, enough features. But right now we are practicing with adjective plus enough, okay? Entonces en este ejemplo podríamos cambiarlo un poquito y decir LG products are designed to be let me see to provide enough features and technology. Okay, since we are talking about technology, we can say LG products are designed to be remember we are using the verb be, right? To be technologically Okay, technological enough with many features. Okay, technological enough. Entonces, I use el adjetivo technological plus enough. Okay, or modern enough. That's another adjective I could say here. LG products are designed to be modern enough with many features and technology or with many technological features. Okay, and then we have a second example. Sony Xperia has designs, high quality and beautiful camera enough for the customers. Okay, de nuevo estamos usando enough, pero en, otro, en otra estructura. Uh, to make it the same structure, we can say Sony Xperia um, is high, we can say is qualified enough or is, or because you're talking about the camera too, we can say Sony Xperia has a camera that is beautiful enough that is beautiful enough to take a, um, to take amazing pictures for the customers. Okay, podría ser así porque estamos utilizando el adjetivo beautiful. Has a camera that is beautiful enough. Remember the structure I gave you. Creo que la borré, pero la puedo volver a poner aquí. Okay, the structure goes Like this, we have subject plus verb B plus adjective plus enough. Okay. Así seguimos el, el, la estructura. Okay, next, the cell phone has a long battery life enough for a long travel. Okay, de igual manera, estaríamos modificándola para, okay, let me see. The cell phone Samsung. Okay, here we can say the life of the battery the life of the cell phone Samsung battery is long enough for travels, okay? The life of the cell phone Samsung battery is long enough for travels. No podemos decir for a long travel porque ya dijimos long enough, okay? Siguiendo siempre la estructura, subject plus verb plus adjective plus enough. 
Next, the iPhone has a powerful hardware enough for developing video games. Ajá, aquí estamos usando powerful. Entonces, este adjetivo lo usamos con el enough. Y podemos decir, the iPhone hardware is powerful enough. Vean, vean aquí cómo va el sujeto. The iPhone hardware is, for B, powerful enough to develop video games. The iPhone hardware is powerful enough to develop video games. Okay, I hope you can, you are taking notes of my corrections so you can understand this structure better. Yes, right now I, I understand, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. And let's see, uh, Gilberto, the iPhone is not good enough for the price. Very good, very good example. Danny, iPhone is complicated enough, but it's a good tool for taking a video. Okay. Uh, we have a really, I mean, a correct structure, although it's because of the adjective that we are using, it doesn't sound too coherent, okay? ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que eh, hay algunos adjetivos por el significado, verdad, que tienen? Como que no hacen mucho sentido con el enough, ¿ok? Porque en este caso, por ejemplo, iPhone is complicated enough. Mm, sí, no, 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 no tiene mucho sentido. Um, Probably we can say, okay. aha, let me try to, to, to make it sound more coherent. Uh, iPhone is, mm, let me see, the iPhone is, mm, but we can make it a uh, negative, probably. The iPhone is not um, easy enough, probably. It's not easy enough, meaning that it's kind of difficult to, to use it, right? Um, so the iPhone is not easy enough or user-friendly enough. Vean, así como el que tenemos aquí. User-friendly enough. Mm -hmm. The iPhone is not user-friendly enough, but it is a good tool to make videos or to take videos. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Maria Leticia, the LG brand is... Mm. What do you mean by this, Leticia? Auge enough. Leticia? Hello? Yes. What do you mean by this? ¿Qué significa o qué quiso decir aquí? The LG brand is... Um, es lo suficientemente grande como para satisfacer. Ah, grande, grande, ok. Uh -huh. uh, so in this case, probably, mm, no sé si quiso decir huge, porque huge en inglés es grande. Uh -huh. eh, we can use it, uh -huh. is huge enough or is big enough, I mean, to fill out the necessities at home. Mm. Ah, okay, but in this case, you're not talking about the, the, the cell phone. Probably you're talking about like... Uh, toda la línea. Exacto, uh -huh. how varied the brand is, right? So in this case, we can use a different adjective. We can say, the LG brand is varied enough, 
O sea, es variada. It's varied. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's varied enough to feel, oops, to feel the necessities at home. At home. Veamos. Okay, the Sony Xperia brand is an unknown enough for Salvadorians. Mm, okay, eh, probably here we can say is not familiar enough. Is not familiar enough for Salvadorians. Estamos dando vuelta. <laughs> okay. Con el objetivo pero siempre dando la idea de que no lo conocen. Entonces, it's not familiar enough or maybe not popular enough. That's also possible. It's not popular. Uh -huh. It's not popular enough. Okay, the iPhone is a... Okay, we can say it's not cheap enough porque cheaper es como que ya lo está comparando. Okay. Mm. Entonces, mm. Sería, the iPhone is not cheap enough to all families in this country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And Samsung is the favorite enough for all Salvadorians. Mm. Okay. In this case, the structure is fine, but the, the, the adjective favorite Sí, no hace mucho, mucho match con enough. Um, probably we can say Samsung is popular enough, maybe. Popular, popular enough uh, with or for Salvadorians. For Salvadorians. Samsung is a popular enough, popular enough. brand. Mm -hmm for all Salvadorians. Okay, uh, Gilberto, we have another one. The Samsung is nice enough in the white line, for example, washing machines. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The iPhone offered the good products and expensive, but are fast enough for buying. Okay. Okay, Danny, this is fine. Andres, TV, LG are cheap enough. Okay. LG TVs, LG TVs are cheap enough, porque no lo estamos comparando. Cheaper es cuando yo digo, por ejemplo, eh, Samsung TVs are cheaper than LG TVs. Okay. So we are comparing, but in this case, we are not. So we can just say are cheap enough for us to buy this Black Friday, for us to buy, for us to buy. Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. Can everybody else hear me? In Danny's neighborhood is raining, so he cannot hear me, but I don't know about the rest. Can you hear me? Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, um, now after this exercise, do we have questions on how to use enough plus an adjective? Well, adjective plus enough. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Nice example, resistible enough. Mm -hmm. Actually, in this case, it would be resistant, resistant enough for any drop. Mm -hmm. Resistant. Okay, questions about this structure? I can give you an extra exercise later on after class. Share it in the in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, uh, for you to practice a bit more. Recordemos que el en este caso con esta estructura 
poniendo el adjetivo primero y luego el enough, estamos expresando que es, es lo necesario, ¿verdad? Si yo digo eh, que es lo suficientemente barato, es lo suficientemente amigable con el usuario, si es lo suficientemente eh, útil, lo suficientemente competitivo, etc. Entonces hay que buscar como esa, ese match que no solo sea la estructura, sino también en la coherencia de lo que estamos diciendo, ¿verdad? Del significado. Ok. If there are no questions right now, we are going to continue the different practice. Okay, we have another practice here. Okay, in this case, we have uh, some words and we're going to match them with vocabulary, with uh, their meanings, okay? So I'm going to have you do this together. Uh, we're going to do it together as a class because later we are going to continue practicing with enough in a little story, okay? So right now, let's just do this matching together and then we put this vocabulary plus the, um, the structure that we just checked, adjective plus enough, into a story. So let's do the vocabulary practice. Again. Okay, so this is matching the words or expressions to their meanings. Let's start with product design, product design. Okay, we have the process of creating an image Okay, the product of creating an image of a, sorry, the process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the consumers. Okay, we have the first definition and we have these concepts, product design, after sales services, brand features, product positioning. So the first one, creating an image of a product in the minds of the consumers, what do you think it would be? Could be a product and, positioning? Excuse, uh, sorry, sorry. Product positioning? I think that is brand teacher. Okay, brand. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the image of a product, right? Uh-huh. I yes. think it's product positioning too. Okay. We have product two for product positioning and one for brand. Okay. <laughs> right now, the majority wins. I'm going to write here number five, but later we're going to check, okay? Because we still have some more to go. So, solo porque es la mayoría, pero ya vamos a revisar todos los demás, ¿ok? Um, ok, so now let's see the second definition. The use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace. Indique number three brands. Okay, Gilberto says brand. Who else says brand? I think the same. Okay, you agree with Gilberto. So let's see, number three. Okay, moving on, we have characteristics of products that describe its appearance, component, and capabilities. Number four. Features. Features. Okay. Yeah. Features. Mm -hmm. Number four. Okay. Next, to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. Product design. Product design. 
product design. Okay. And the last one, the health and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product. Huh? Number two. The last one is number after sales two. service. Okay, after sales services. After Very good. sales service. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then uh, we are right with number five. The process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the consumers is product positioning, right? Mm, like making sure the consumers uh, have in mind your product, right? That is the positioning. For example, um, when we have, when we talk about um, Rinso, Rinso is a, is a brand that is so positioned in the minds of the consumers that we don't even, I mean, we can be talking about other brands, right? Of detergent, but we call it Rinso. For all the detergents, we call them Rinso, at least here in El Salvador. So the Rinso brand is very well positioned in the minds of the consumers. Um, and let's see, well, uh, number three brand, I think this is something very familiar to everybody, right? Um, the features are synonyms of characteristics, right? For example, if we talk about the cell phone, we can say the, the features could be the, the size of the screen, also how much RAM memory it has, how much storage it has, how many gigas, um, or the camera, how many pixels, the front camera, the back camera, how many cameras it has, the la a battery life, right? All those are features of the product. Um, and let's see, product design, I think is familiar to everybody. The last one, after sale services. Well, I in my case, for example, a, um, where I work as a full-time job, my full-time job, we a, sell books, textbooks, and also um, um, digital resources to schools. So after they have bought the books and the digital resources, we provide services, right? On how to use the books, how to use the digital products, and also methodology, teaching methodology, etc. right? So those are examples of after sale services, right? We follow up with the clients or the consumer's needs on how to use the product. Okay, everything clear about the vocabulary? Any questions regarding vocabulary? Any other examples that you need? Or todo clear? Clear like water. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Clear, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so <clears throat> now we're going to practice speaking a little bit using these two um these two things that we just checked. Uh, the structure, adjective plus enough, and also these these phrases. Product design, after sales services, brand, features, product positioning, okay? So mm, the idea is that we create a little story, okay, together. For example, we can say, um, last week I went to 
eh, claro, and I was looking for a new cell phone. I heard that they had the latest Samsung eh, model, Samsung Galaxy S model. Uh, I checked it and I could see that it was fast enough, modern enough, and also a um, beautiful enough. The model is beautiful enough. Uh, so I decided to buy it. But when I got home, um, I dropped it. And in, in, in it immediately, it immediately crashed. So I went back to the store and tried to get a new one. But they told me it didn't have any guarantee. I didn't buy any guarantee and so on. Okay, so this is my example of a story. And you checked, I used some structures with enough. And also, um, I used, I tried to use uh, some of these words. Okay, so that is the task right now. Let's create a very short story. It doesn't have to be a long story. Using vocabulary and the structure. We're putting it in chat. In here, create a short story using using a the structure adjective plus enough and at least two of the vocabulary in the list. Vocabulary word in the list. Okay, so this is our task right now. Let me um, create our breakout room to practice reading the story. Okay, well, let's take from five to seven minutes. And then if we need more time, we're going to provide more time. But right now, let's try to take that time. Okay, so I'll see you in your rooms, okay?
Okay, uh, Danny and Israel, I don't know, are you going to join your classmates? Or do you have difficulties? Hello, Andres. Teacher Ryan alone. <laughs> I know. I was just asking your classmates, Danny and Israel, if they're going to join. Otherwise, I'm going to move you to a different one. Give me a second. I'm going to check. Okay, teacher. Okay. Danny and Israel, are you going to participate? Otherwise, I move. I need to move your classmates who are alone. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Okay, have you discussed any idea or for your story? Yeah, we we are going to talk about a uh, about the the after sale service for a higher of internet. Oh, okay, okay, good. Very good. Okay, let me check your other classmates. I'll be back with you, okay? Okay. okay. Ahí usted podría, ahí usted podría este, introducir otra, otra parte. Ok. De internet de eh, Starling y es very, very difficult for the information and the people and, and all the people eh, le quiero dar a entender algo así como que no tenemos tenía? mucha información la suficiente información del okay. de la promoción de uh -huh. de Starling in that case, I think you can use the adjective familiar. It's not familiar enough for people, right? Yes, teacher. It's not familiar enough. Starlink is not familiar enough for people right now. Probably in the future, yes, right? But right now, they, they don't have enough information. 
enough information. Ajá, o sea, como It's estamos utilizando, enough. lo que pasa es que ahorita estamos utilizando esta estructura del adjective plus enough. Entonces usted puede decir, Starlink is not familiar enough for Salvadorians or for people in El Salvador. Pero también está la otra forma que usamos, us, lo usamos con un sustantivo y decimos, there is not enough information about Starlink. Esa es otra manera de decirlo. O sea, lo mismo, pero diferente estructura. Ok. Uh -huh. So your story is about Starlink. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Teacher, there is correct so, if I say for the future features that I can share with you of this in, in internet mm -hmm. is fast enough, is cheap enough, and uh -huh. is powerful enough for connect many devices. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, great. I'll check what your classmates are doing, see you later. Okay, teacher. When when say many people say that this company brand uh, after say say that this brand of company you can change it but for for company brand many people say that this company brand okay mm -hmm. many people say that this company brand Eh, Leticia, okay. I already sent on chat the right reading. Check the chat, Leticia.
tendríamos que, vamos a ver, number two, the help and information that is provided to customer after they bought a particular product. Este, eh, tengo no. hasta la fecha escrito a uh, pequeño Starling is in a family that is now for people for El Salvador. So can you tell me some picture of their internet? Uh, can you the sí, ahí le diría la parte que le menciono yo. For, for the... Hola. Ajá, sí, sí, lo escucho. Ok, ahora ya haríamos otra pregunta y yo le daría la última respuesta. En eh, this case, for, uh, do you know the cause uh, for months uh, the access uh, for people eh, quisiera si usted sabe el monto aproximado de, del costo verdad el mensual de, de Sterling vamos a ver sería así The monthly fee? Fee. F E E. F. Aha. Uh -huh. Monthly fee. Let me. Fee with T. Uh, uh, no, fee with the D uh, at the end. No, only with double E. Ve al chat. Monthly, monthly fee. Monthly fee. Mm -hmm. monthly well, do you know fee? what is the monthly fee? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Andre, do you know what is the monthly fee? Mm -hmm. Fee se traduce como cuota. Cuota, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you can use it for like in this case, internet bills or um, like when you are in school, for example, when you are paying for a course, also college fee, school fee, course okay. fee. Lo podemos usar así. in our country, but I know. Uh, we can say interesting enough, teacher. Yes, we can say interesting enough. Mm -hmm. I know when. But I know that when. No, that. When that. Okay, let's take probably two more minutes because it's it's kind of it's almost time to go. So let's wrap it up, okay? Pueden terminarlo okay. mm -hmm. in two minutes okay. and then we go back. How are we doing? We are almost ending. 
Ah, okay, great. Yes, we have only um, one more minute because... Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, what positive adjective we can use, Leticia, about other company? The other company. Yes, because because we can say that for for this problem we decided to to change to cancel this service and change for the, for other company that which which had a better um adjet, a better feature but using a adjective with the word enough mm -hmm. Probably good enough or fast enough. We fast. User friendly enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fast Thank enough. you. Okay. Okay, I'll leave you to finish up and then we go back. Okay, so probably in a few seconds. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Well, this time we only have two groups working. <laughs> so, um, okay, uh, let's start with Gilberto and Andres. Let's share your story, please. Okay. Andres, really? Good night. Good night, Gilberto. So, you know what? The last week I went to Metro Central Mall for a specific brand of internet that the name is Starling of Elon Musk. Good night, Andres. Starling is not familiar enough for people for El Salvador. So, can you tell me? some feature in this internet? Yeah, of course. For the features that I can share with you of this internet is fast enough, she's cheap enough, and is powerful enough for connecting many device, devices. Mm -hmm. Oh, Andre, do you know what's in the monthly fee? 
Well, right now, this internet is not able for our country, but I know that is interesting enough for all the people. Thank you for your information. Good night, Andre. Good night. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Great job. Very good. <laughs> okay. We included several examples of the structure and also some vocabulary. Okay. Good. Now I think Rebecca and Leticia are ready. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Okay, yes. Eh, okay. Eh, the past month, we hired an internet service for home, but some win some weeks later, we started to have some problems with the service. With the service, mm -hmm. in fact, many people say that this company brand have a lot of problems, but we didn't believe because that problem. We decided to call for the after sale service to report it. After had a lot of time waiting for an answer, we can say that this company is not efficient efficient enough, and we decided to cancel the service and change uh, to other company which is good enough. Yay, very good, excellent. Thank you. You also made use of several structure, examples of the structure. And uh, also I see the words, for example, after sales service. Um, what else? Let's see. Brand. We use brand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, in this case, because you have it, uh, well, you are sharing the, the, the text. I can make two small corrections, like in terms of uh, grammar or vocabulary. For example, when we say, because of those problems, because of those problems, because they are plural, right? So because of those, or another way to say it, it would be due, due to those problems, due to. Mm -hmm. That's another way. Uh, let's see. After waiting for a long time, mm -hmm. ese sería el otro, mm -hmm. eh, the second. After. Ajá, after mm -hmm. waiting for a long time. After waiting for a long time. Right, right. After waiting, así como lo tiene ahí después, waiting. Waiting for a long time. For an answer. Mm -hmm. Waiting or waiting a long time for an answer. Para no repetir for. After waiting a long time for an answer. Right. A long time for an answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y quito esto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, y ahí solo el spelling que es A, waiting, W-A-I. <laughs> ok, very good. Very good. And well, which? Yes, el which, we are missing the, the H, la primera opción. Mm -hmm. Oh, which is good which enough. Is good enough. 
Perfect. Okay, well, thank you uh, to the two groups for sharing. I think this is this was a really good practice. We were able to um, practice more the structures and the vocabulary. So right now I'm just going to pass the attendance for the last time before we leave. Okay, so let's see, Danny, Danny Anthony, are you here? Algo le pasa a Dani porque se ve como que está su micrófono encendido, pero no. Creo que tiene problemas. Ok. Eh, Gilberto Benito, Santa María. Here, Pérez. teacher. Here. Ok. José Andrés Martínez Present, Pérez. Teacher. Thank you. José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. I think he's a listener because he is. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. I saw you, Julio, as a listener. Lady Joanna Hernández Ventura, not here today. Luis Rodrigo Morales, not here. Maria Leticia Realejeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca, not here today. Rebeca Maria Cardona. Okay, Israel. Present. Ok, eh, Roberto Carlos Sánchez Alvarenga. Well, he had to leave, I think. Gámez, sorry, Gámez Alvarenga. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga, not here today. Sofía Karina Crespo, she's a listener. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar, who is also a listener. Ok, well, everybody. Ok, thank you, Gabriela. I'll see you next Monday, okay? Um, okay, teacher. Just make sure you finish up or update your homework. Um, or if you have any question about it, please let me know, okay? You can text me. Bye-bye. 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 Have Good a night. nice weekend. Bye.